Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my bedroom yet again with the weird plant in the corner just to spruce it up so you're not looking just alone at the light switch. Although good news, my office is coming along. Bradley and I have been working in the office. We're trying to do like an hour a day just cause that literally ended up being like the dumping ground and it was wild. <laughs> But we've made a ton of progress and hopefully soon I'll have a really cute filming room, filming area. So anyway, I'm like burping because I just ate. That was, this was a good idea to eat right before filming in pregnancy. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I am probably filming the world's largest empties today. It, <laughs> it progressed from my little box to a pile on top of a cabinet to um, Bradley putting everything in this laundry basket and begging me to film an empties. And I was like, oh, I can film an empties, great. So due to pregnancy, I think I've literally missed a few seasons and this would technically be a summer empties. So I don't know when my last empties videos was. I will link it up in the corner. Um, but if you, for some reason, don't know what an empties video is or you're new or whatever, it's literally basically me hoarding and moving my beauty trash with me so that I can give you guys like full updated reviews on things I've tried, what I'll repurchase, what I won't. And I love watching these videos. I love filming these videos. You guys really like these videos. And I think it's because I've used up the whole thing. I know how I feel about a product and it's fun to be able to share if I would repurchase or not. So that's what an empties video is. I I'm gonna sort this into categories really quick and then we're gonna go through it. I'm probably gonna be pretty speedy about things because we have we could be here for hours with this if I talk my usual length. And you might be okay with that, but I have a glorious chiropractic massage appointment in an hour and a half for my pelvis. It's life-changing. We can talk about that in a vlog. The point is, is we're gonna, it's gonna be kind of rapid, it's kind of. I say that and then we'll see what I'm capable of. But okay, let me sort this in two categories and then we'll get started. To make it easiest on myself, I've propped up the basket right next to me because bending over is just not an option these days. So if you see the basket in the corner, that's why. So we're gonna start off with skincare. The categories will be skincare. I have one makeup empty, an overwhelming amount of body care, some hair care, and then some home stuff. So we're gonna start with skincare and then just work our way down. Let's go through some of the usuals first. So this is my all time favorite cleanser. This is the simple kind of skin, moisturizing facial wash. I use it constantly. It is, like it says, moisturizing. It doesn't strip my skin or make me feel dry. But why I love this is A, it's very cheap. It's very effective. Well, I said A and then I continue to go, whatever. It's cheap, it's effective, and I like that I can use it morning and night. I will use this to take off my makeup. It takes off all my makeup, all my mascara, sometimes even better than things that are marketed to take off makeup that just don't work. This is the best. I use it with my Clarisonic. I use it to double cleanse, like I said, to take off my makeup at night. It's just always the best, so. Definitely, definitely already repurchased. And then along the same lines, this is the Simple Kind to Skin Protecting Light Moisturizer with SPF 15. I love this stuff. To be honest, I haven't really been using it in pregnancy because I've been using my Tula Protect and Glow, which is like an everyday SPF gel that adds a little bit of glow to your skin. So it's really pretty, even if I'm not wearing makeup, which most days, let's be honest, I'm not. Only because, and I've said it before on my channel, I'm kind of really confused. Uh, there's just a lot of information about SPF in pregnancy. And I know that the Tula one is pregnancy safe. So I use that. Not to say this one isn't pregnancy safe, that's I just happened to get that one right at the beginning of my pregnancy and that's just what I've been using because I haven't used up the full bottle yet. But I love this, we'll definitely repurchase it and use it after pregnancy. Speaking of Tula, I have quite a few Tula empties. Tula has sponsored a couple of my videos before. This one is not sponsored, but it's a brand that I really, really love. I've had friends like text me like, do you really like this? Which like, let me just tell you guys, I don't accept sponsorships from things I wouldn't use or companies that I don't love. In fact, I've had two huge companies reach out to me this last like week that I just, I, it's, it's not in alignment with my life and what I would do and what I use actually. So I said no. So I just, I want you to know that sponsored or not, uh, I'm telling you the truth and I wouldn't accept a sponsorship from a brand that I don't love. <laughs> and that being said, I freaking love Tula. When they reached out, I was like, yeah, can I had tried to cut, I think just like a couple random things. And I was like, I, to be honest, I haven't tried a lot. Can you send some stuff so I can try it? And then I can let you know if I want to work with you. And I truly love so many things. So Tula is a skincare line that is, I believe everything is pregnancy safe. There might be a few like 
peels and stuff that are not. But for me, that's great. And their thing is they put probiotics in their skincare. So it's really great ingredients, obviously clean ingredients, no fragrances, none of that stuff. It's It says right here on it, clean and effective and sensitive. So if you have sensitive skin, I would highly recommend Tula. This that I'm just waving around is their Super Calm Gentle Milk Cleanser. This was heavenly, absolutely beautiful. I love the bottle, has a pump, smells literally incredible. I don't know if it has rosemary in it, but it totally kind of smells like it does. It's cruelty free, it's 100% without Oh, I'm reading in French. <laughs> it's 100% free from fragrance, alcohol, silicones, mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, PEGs, and sulfates. So it's just like the best. Loved this cleanser, used it really quickly. Would totally repurchase. This is their 24 seven moisture hydrating day and night cream. I was a huge fan of this and my husband was a huge fan of this. My husband is a huge fan of Tula in general. In fact, I'm gonna talk about it next, but there's another night cream that he loves. And he doesn't really understand like night and day cream. So he was using the night cream all the time. And I was like, honey, that's a special cream that we savor, okay? But anyway, we've been out of this and he's asked, can we get more of that blue tub stuff? So I do need to repurchase this. Um, but I liked this in the morning because it wasn't, it was definitely hydrating, but it wasn't heavy for like a cream. Do you know what I mean? If you're using like a cream lotion on your face in the morning under makeup, it can get a little heavy, but this melts into your skin so beautifully. I loved it. It smells great. It's just the best. And then this was that night cream I was talking about. This is the Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment. Like I said, me and my husband, both a huge fan of this. I love the packaging. It's one of those fancy things I was afraid something was gonna come out, but it's empty. Where you push down and it gives you a dollop and that's all you need, you just swipe it right off. We are still currently using this. I have one in the bathroom right now. I use it, you guys know, and if you don't know, I'll tell you. But every other night I switch off between a face oil and then I will use a face cream. And with my face cream, I will add in a couple of drops of frankincense oil just because my skin reacts well to having frankincense in my skincare routine. So I just add in, um, I try to just do one drop, but it usually ends up being two because I'm not quick enough. So one to two drops of frankincense oil with my beauty sleep. And it is incredible. It smells really good too. It smells kind of like roses. It's, oh my God. It kind of smells like baby powder and roses, which I, I feel like I'm turning you off with that, but it just smells really like bright and fresh. It's awesome. And I, it, it also, it makes my skin look and feel incredible. So love this. We are not going fast, like I said. And as I said, I use a face oil every other night and I apparently, since I've done a last empties, have used up two of my Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. You guys know I love this. It's probably not the cleanest oil I could be using on my face, but I just really like the way it smells. It doesn't clog my pores and I just look amazing when I wake up the next morning when I put this on the night before. So I love this stuff. And while I have you, did you know that the proper way to recycle this bottle, they will throw away this whole thing if you don't take off the silicone. If you're recycling a any sort of dropper bottle, please take a moment to get the silicone stopper off the top and then throw that away and then recycle the rest of the glass because that's wasteful. Something I loved and totally have already repurchased and I use every single night are my Trader Joe's Spa Natural Facial Cleansing Pads with tea tree oil. These are one of my Trader Joe's beauty must-haves. I really don't have a ton with them. I don't love a whole lot of their beauty stuff, but these I love. They're just little cotton thin rounds that they stack up and they just have a solution on them. They smell of tea tree, they smell beautiful. And I just use this after um, I shower or take my bath at night and wash my face before I put on anything else. I will use this and it gets off any extra makeup I may have missed or any just dirt from the day. And also just my skin loves tea tree oil. So I'm always trying to get it on there. Where I see the most difference in tea tree oil is my chin acne, my, my chacne as I like to call it, which my skin has overall been, I wanna say better in pregnancy, but I also wanna say that be just cause like, I'm so anxious that I'm taking a lot of time for self-care because that makes me happy. So I'm doing like a lot of skincare and baths and all that. So I don't know if it's like the pregnancy hormones or just I've been paying extra attention to my skin um, and using a lot of really clean, safe pregnancy products. But I've been using this obviously for years beyond pregnancy and it's always just helped keep my chacne at bay. I told you guys I would keep you posted on this. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. It smells beautiful, it feels beautiful. I was trying to use it as a makeup remover, which it doesn't market itself as that. It does not say makeup remover on it. I'm used to cleansing balms being like 
heavily praised as makeup removers, but this did not get off my makeup very well, especially my mascara, and it burned my eyes. Like, like I love the Clinique. I think it's Take the Day Off Balm, and that you can like really gently work into your eyes without it burning, and it gets everything off, but this just was not the same. Um, so I definitely enjoyed this more when I wasn't trying to get off makeup. If I was just, I had this by my bathtub, and I would just use this as my cleanser until I used it up. This is the little travel size, by the way, but I think it's still like $25. Like, it's wildly expensive. Maybe I made that up. Maybe it was $14. It's one of those numbers. <laughs> but I definitely enjoyed this more on nights where I wasn't getting off makeup and just cleansing my skin. It smells beautiful, it feels beautiful. I won't repurchase it just because it was so expensive. And there are other makeup cleansing whatever bombs I like more. Um, but it did feel and smell fancy, but not fancy enough. <laughs> I used up this First Aid Beauty Niacinamide Brightening Eye Cream. I would totally repurchase this, I loved it. It had a little bit of a tint to it, if you can see it, kind of like a peachy tint and just like a little bit of, I don't wanna say shimmer, but just a little bit of sheen to really make your eyes look bright and just awake, and I loved it. So I would totally repurchase this. This was just a little sample I used up. I believe this was the Sephora birthday gift last year. I'm not even sure, but it's the Drunk Elephant, which this is the first Drunk Elephant product I've tried, and I loved it. It's the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Jessica Braun, my babe, always talks about this, um, and it was truly just lovely. I don't have a ton to say about it, just cause like, when I love a face cream, I love a face cream. If it's moisturizing my face, if it gives me a dewy glow the next morning, like any of those things, I just love a face cream and I totally loved this. And I know it's pricey, so I don't know if I'll repurchase it, um, but I, if I, my hand, if I came across it again, I would totally just be excited and use it up because it was really, really nice. I guess I kept a box of the, um, an empty box of the Foreo Activated Masks. You guys, I, I, if you watch me, you've probably seen it because I use it in so many videos, but I truly love it. It's their little UFO activated sheet mask device where um, you get a little, it's like a little cotton round almost of a sheet mask that is um, soaked in a solution and you put it on the little LED light thing. It syncs with your phone and each of the activated masks does something different for your skin. So this is the Manuka Honey. This is for revitalizing. I loved these. I will totally repurchase these. To be honest, I haven't used really any that I haven't liked just cause like they all do something different. They all make my skin feel amazing and look amazing and radiant. So yeah, I will totally repurchase these. I just, on Black Friday, I bought a ton of them. Um, I found a website that they had like 30% off and I bought like every single different one. So I still have a lot to work through. Through, but I loved the Manuka Honey ones. That's it for skincare, but I am gonna share my one makeup empty. And it's like barely even empty, but I'm getting rid of it and I thought I'd let you know. But this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, my favorite bronzer ever. But I had a backup and this one is just kind of old and crusty. And as I was unpacking and like organizing my makeup, which is still not completely organized, I won't lie to you guys, but it's getting there. <laughs> but as I was putting things away and I was like, oh, I have a brand new one of this. I'm not gonna keep the nasty, crusty, just let me scrape the edges bronzer. So I am tossing this parting ways, but you guys know I love the butter bronzer, it's my favorite. Okay, now moving on to body care and buckle up, because like I said, I have a lot. Let's start with shower gels. Here's two of them, to be honest, looking at both of these kind of makes me want to vomit. <laughs> Just because pregnancy, and this is what was in my shower, like on the really, really rough weeks and months. <sighs> I keep thinking about like opening it and smelling it to torture myself, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Which I really hope it like, it goes away after pregnancy and I can stand some smells again. Cause I feel like a couple of smells that like just from the first trimester are totally ruined and this is one of them. But I do love the Alba Botanica very emollient bath and shower gels and these are both for dry skin. Well, this one is the Honey Mango. It's for extra dry skin. This smells normally so good, but right now it just makes me want to throw up. And this is the Midnight Tuberose, which also smells good. I love how huge they are. I love the pumps and they have all different types. They have like mint, lavender, like they have a whole bunch of things. There's no parabens, phthalates or harsh sulfates, but there is fragrance in it. So it's not completely clean, but it's one of the, it's the second to last. It is the last ingredient is fragrance. So that's not so bad, but normally I love these just right now. I don't want to look at them. <laughs> this I technically used as a shower gel. This is the Summer's Eve Island Splash Cleansing Wash. This is for your vagina. This smells literally so good. I always get the Island Splash. I think I just said that. It smells in Incredible. I have not been using this on my nether regions just because in pregnancy I'm trying to be extra safe and in my first trimester I got a UTI and I was like, okay, no. And I know that these are controversial. I am a fan of Summer's Eve and I don't use it every single day. I usually in non-pregnancy use it like 
I don't know if I just have worked out or I feel like a little extra gross or I just, I like having it on hand, but I don't use it every day. But in pregnancy, I didn't use it at all. What I did use it for is a shower gel. These make really, really nice shower gels if you have sensitive skin. So that's what I did when I ran out of the other shower gels that were making me want to vomit. I switched to this and I used it up and I love the smell. So I enjoyed it as a shower gel. Another shower body product. This is the Too Cool for School Mineral Pink Salt Body Scrub Wash. This, I actually really, really liked. They sell this at Ulta. I, I really like Too Cool for School sheet masks. I love their, I think it's called the Egg Yolk Mask or something like that. Something kind of like, whoa, that's weird. And then their Pumpkin Mask, which uh, it's super cute because it's a pumpkin and I love Halloween and pumpkins. But that one is like hard to find in an Ulta store. I had to order that one, I think on Amazon when I wanted to try it, but I love that mask. So I love Too Cool for School sheet masks. They actually reached out to me, wanted to send me some stuff. So they sent me some of their mineral pink salt collection and this has definitely been my favorite from it It smells very fresh kind of has like a lemongrass scent Which I don't normally like but in this it like works and it just was a great body scrub I loved this and I miss it and I would totally repurchase this again, but it has like pink salt in it So it was just like the best exfoliant. I loved it Something I didn't love quite as much is the lush orange shower scrub. I love lush scrubs But they are they do add like color to them. So they're very colorful. So when you use them, it literally looks like there's crazy stuff all over your walls. Like I love the Magic Crystals scrub so much. It smells like peppermint, but it's bright purple and it literally looks like you murdered a Muppet in your shower. So it's kind of like, is this worth it? I don't know. But besides that, this was not my favorite because it just had a really fake orange scent. I just did not care for this. The Lush shower scrubs themselves, the formula, the way they feel, I love. They're very gritty and exfoliating and I love them. I would just suggest maybe using them in the bath where they could make less of a mess, but still probably a mess. Uh, but this, when I used it, there was just orange everywhere. So you do your body scrub and then you spend five minutes like wiping down the shower walls because it just gets everywhere. So, so yeah, I definitely won't be repurchasing the orange scent again. I do like the Magic Crystals one though, but yeah, okay. Also, did you know that if you save up five of these recyclable tubs in which it has them on the back, if if for some reason one of the tubs can't be recycled, it'll, it won't have this on the back. But if it does, you can bring in five tubs and exchange them out for a free fresh face mask, which I love. I love the rose one and I love the cupcake one. Although I think they discontinued the cupcake one, which is so sad. But yeah, that's a fun tidbit about Lush if you didn't know. These I actually really like and I use them for all sorts of things. Ooh, the sun is coming out. So if we look brighter. Great. So these are the Trader Joe's Cucumber and Citrus Face and Body Wipes. I just like to have these around because they seem pretty like good for sensitive things. They seem pretty gentle. They're not super saturated. They're just like lightly saturated. So they work great if you just need like a hand wipe because they're for your face and body. I use these on the dog all the time. Like if I need to wipe off his paws or, or if he gets something on his fur or something. I don't know. I don't use them like to clean his whole body, but just if he needs, if he, he got into something, he has a little mess. I will use these on him. So we keep one of these in the car. We keep one of these downstairs. I really, really like these. So yeah, I don't like use them on my face or anything to take things off, but I just find that having them around to use is very, very handy. I used up two of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love this stuff. I already have it. We never live without this. First Aid Beauty is actually kind enough to like I'm on their PR list and I, to be honest, I have no idea how I got on it, but I'm so delighted I am because everything they send, I love. And this is like my favorite hands down body lotion, Bradley's too. I always say that it really caught my attention because when I first started using this, I was having problems with like eczema in my, what I like to call my elbow pit. And this completely got rid of it. And I use this all the time pretty much daily, so it hasn't come back. Um, so this stuff is great. I recommend it to so many people in my real life and obviously you guys. <laughs> not that you're not in my real life, but you understand what I mean. If you have sensitive skin or eczema, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this stuff. And even if you don't, it's just a really good, clean ingredient, no gunk in it moisturizer for your whole body. And I find that's where I try to avoid fragrance. And I'm still pretty lenient when it comes to fragrance. Like I'm about to share some body splashes and perfumes, but like things like lotion, especially a whole body lotion that's seeping into my skin, I try to do fragrance free and I freaking love this stuff. So it's, it's the best. And then another one I've been using for my belly butter, which I keep talking about this, this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. It's an ultra hydrating body butter. Um, I noticed stretch marks on my boobs about 12 weeks in and I was like, oh my God, I need to be moisturizing. And my belly hadn't even really grown then yet. So I just wasn't 
I don't know, I, I knew I would get to the belly butter phase eventually. I just was unaware my boobs were growing. I also did notice some stretch marks on my hips also. But where I've been using the belly butter, which is my belly, I have no stretch marks. And I used up an entire one. I already repurchased this. I did go, this was the just no scent at all, which was incredible. Cause like I said, I'm pregnant and scents are really bothering me right now. Cause like, you know how some things are unscented, but like they still have a scent. This had no scent. It was incredible. I love it. I like, I don't really enjoy putting on lotion, obviously, which is why I have stretch marks from the first 12 weeks. Also just because like I was literally dead to the world. I spent most of the day just like lying down, trying not to throw up. And then I would muster up the energy to just bathe myself before I fell asleep for the night and moisturizing just wasn't gonna happen. But now every night, I don't moisturize in the morning like fully with the body butter. I just do it at night after my bath. I have like a whole ritual um, and I put on that belly butter and I repurchased it. I <laughs> got sidetracked. This one was unscented, but I repurchased it and I got the vanilla apricot and it smells so good. It's a very light and fresh scent, perfect for spring and summer and I've been loving it. So um, if you need a belly butter, this is great. And why I like it is because it's an oil, but it's whipped so it's a cream. So it's not heavy like an oil and it sinks into the skin really nicely. It's just, it's been the best. I used up a shave cream. This is the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave. It's a honey mango scent. This is probably my favorite beauty product from Trader Joe's. Like the only one that I, well this and the tea tree pads, but like those two are like, I can't live without. This stuff is like, I think literally $3 and it is the best shave gel I've ever used. It doesn't foam, obviously. It's a gel, so it does take a little bit of getting used to if you grew up, which I'm sure we all grew up. I remember I, in my stocking one year for Christmas, I think I was like 13 when my mom finally let me start shaving and I couldn't shave past the knee. Is anybody else? In which I, there is a Bob's Burgers episode where Linda told Tina that only strippers shave above the knee and I, I, I laughed so hard because I was like my mother wouldn't let me shave above the knee and what is that about like just let me shave my whole damn leg but my point was is I, I was begging my mom to let me shave my legs and then uh, in my stocking one year at Christmas I had I remember it was like a round weird cool razor that like you could hold with your whole hand and then shave gel and it's of course the skin to me where it foams up and you can see what you're doing this is a gel there's no color to it so it does take a bit of finessing if that's what you're used to to get used to like not missing a spot i found that i missed a spot even with the foam shave gels but this is just a little bit better for you because there's not all the nasty ingredients of like a spray can foam better for the environment also but also just like this is so cheap it's a bit of a cleaner shave it smells so good it moisturizes that's the best part is i i shaved in my mom's shower last time i was in north carolina which was <laughs> almost two years ago now no that's not true a year and a half christmas 2019 whatever i shaved with my mom's sh shave cream and it, my legs felt so dry and i was like oh it's because i didn't use this this is the best i'll shut up i used up a young living deodorant this is their valor deodorant infused with black spruce, blue tansy, and frankincense essential oils. If you don't know what Valor is, it's like one of their most popular scent blends. I personally love it. It's the, what they call their bravery oil because it's supposed to help be like an emotional support oil. To me, it just smells very like, like I would say, if you like floral scents, you'll like Valor. It's very, I don't know, it's just really nice. It smells like a perfume to me. So when I saw they had a deodorant, I was like, yes. And I actually really, really liked this. Um, I avoided Young Living deodorants for the longest time because I follow a lot of Young Living people and they were like, yeah, they are they suck. Then a couple of years ago, they redid the formula and then they started getting better reviews. So I was like, let me just try it. I actually really, really enjoyed this. It's not, it's a bit of a drier application. So it does take some finessing and of course with natural deodorants a lot of them require for you to reapply throughout the day which i did with this but i totally loved it much cleaner for your underarms the valor scent isn't super strong it's just like lightly there i would totally repurchase this but it's been sold out forever but i really do want another one i used up my bath and body works moonlight path fine fragrance mist i've literally been wearing this in seventh grade all of my friends make fun of me but it just is what it is they discontinued this and it's kind of like the end of my life <laughs> However, several of you, a couple, actually I think it's like a month ago now, messaged me on Instagram saying, hey, they're having a sale and they brought back Moonlight Path and the body splash is $5. And then I had a coupon on top of that. I, I got so many, I like was like, all right, I'll spend 50 bucks and get how much, however many I can. I got so many and now my bathroom cupboard is just full of these, but I can't risk it going out of stock. Like I cannot, this is, I'm not myself without Moonlight Path. Like this is who I am. And so I stocked up. This was my last bottle, but now we're good. I used up my favorite perfume, which using a, perfu a perfume is always like exciting and sad. Not so sad with this because I'm obviously gonna repurchase it. There's like a little left in the bottom. Come on. 
Oh, so good. And I kind of repurchased this at a rough time because I know that I can't wear perfume around the baby when he gets here and I'm having a baby in a couple of months. But I just need to have this. And this for me is like, if I'm doing something scary, I wear this because it just makes me happy and kind of feel calm. It's honestly kind of weird. I've This has been my favorite perfume for a very long time. Did I say what it is? It's Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Look how cute is the bottle, love it. But if I'm like going on an airplane, which remember airplanes, I haven't been on one in so long. Going to like the dentist, anything that like just really makes me anxious, which lately I'm anxious all the time. I like to wear this um, just cause it kind of calms me down. So I repurchased this and I haven't been wearing it a ton in pregnancy cause I'm afraid like I'll eventually hate the scent. So I've kind of been leaving it alone, but um, I was craving it. I used up the little last bit that I had and I already repurchased it cause I can't be without it. I used up some bath things. So first off is this Epsom salt, rose petal Epsom salt from Whole Foods, the 365 brand. I love this. I just recently talked about this in my favorites video. So I will link that up in the corner, but Epsom salt is just freaking good for your body. And so it's like, a, like I always say, like it's not a necessarily like huge step that I notice a ton of difference in immediately but I think over time it just is so beneficial for your muscles and your digestion did you know that I was in the path the other day and I read on the I have just like the up and up brand in there now and it said on there that it's good to soak in it because it's good for your digestion we all know I'm having constipation problems well not currently they've been solved but now every time something I, I see something that will help digestion I'm like yes but mostly this makes such a huge difference in the aches and pains of my body in pregnancy and even not pregnancy I was using it before pregnancy but especially Especially now I use it every single night in my bath. I just take two like giant handfuls and just sprinkle it throughout and it helps my pelvis. I have SPD or whatever it's called. I never know what it's called. But it's the thing where basically my pelvis has broken and is prepared to give birth now but I still have however many weeks to go and it's very painful but I've noticed that with um, certain like exercises that I do every single night, icing it and baths with Epsom salt, it, it is so much more manageable and just like listening to my body, not overdoing it. Um, that's why a lot of the times like I just don't bend over or um, I'm like even out in the garden, I'm dying to get down there and like trim my tomato plants, but it's just like, I know that, that I will suffer if I do that. So Bradley does things like that for me. So anyway, I love Epsom salt. I really enjoyed this um, rose scent one. I also got the matching bath bombs. It smells really, really good. And I will totally repurchase this. I used up two of my favorite bath salts from Basin. Um, I don't even know if these have <laughs> like anything beneficial in them. I just really like the scent. They smell, uh, my favorite is the jasmine scent. And oh my God, you guys, it just smells so good. So you take two capfuls of the bath salts, put it in your tub, smells amazing, makes it colorful. Um, I already used up two of those and I they were on sale, so I ordered like six of them. So I'm stocked. <laughs> and then randomly, did you know you can use Lush shower gels as bubble bath and it works really, really well. I love a lot of the scents of Lush shower gels, but my body is allergic to them. I break out in like a very small rash because I'm allergic to the lathering agent that Lush uses, so I can't use their soap or their shower gels, which is devastating. However, when it's like dispersed as bubble bath form, it doesn't bother my skin at all. And now I can use some of my favorite scents and have bubbles and I just, I loved it. So I used up American cream. This is like a strawberry cream scent one. It smells really, really good. And then one of my favorite, it's so squished and I need to clean out the bottle before I recycle it. <laughs> but um, this is one of my favorite scents from Lush. It's the honey I washed the kids. It smells like honey toffee, like you could literally drink it. it smells so good, so. Yeah, I used up two of those as bubbles. This really is the longest empty video ever. Now moving on to hair care, I don't have a ton. I used up these little travel sample sizes of the Briogeo, um, two of their most popular things. So the first one was their Don't Repair, Don't, no. Okay, <laughs> don't despair repair mask. It's a deep conditioning mask. I enjoyed this, but to be honest, it's I didn't enjoy it any more than my other favorite deep conditioning masks. My favorite being the macadamia, whatever that one's called. I love the Amica deep repairing masks, and this just was like along the same lines. So I don't know. I would use it again if it fell on my hands, but I'm not really like dying to repurchase it. I did enjoy this a little bit more. This is the Scalp Revival. It's a charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. This sounded great to me because I do have a dry dandruffy scalp. That's a scalp. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I need a nap or something. Scalp, which is only worse in pregnancy. My dandruff has been worse in pregnancy. Everything. Pregnancy is so cute, you know? Dying of acid, nausea, my pelvis is breaking, didn't poop for 11 days, my scalp skin is falling off. It's just a real fun time. So this, I was excited to try this. Um, it's a literal exfoliating shampoo. So there's like a little bit of grit to it, which I was kind of afraid of at first, but it did rinse out almost 
right away. And it also doesn't stay gritty as you work it in. It eventually evaporates and it just turns into a shampoo. So it's not like, I remember I used one exfoliating shampoo once and it was like literal sand and it took me forever to get it out of my hair. And I was like, okay, never doing that again. But this was not like that. And I enjoyed it. I would probably purchase this at some point in life. This is my new favorite conditioner. I've talked about it before, I think. It's the Young Living Copaiba Vanilla Moisturizing Conditioner. This was the first ever like natural conditioner I've ever tried. So Young Living products, it's the essential oils that I use. So there's no chemicals at all in them. So they're all like natural ingredients. And to which I was like, that is not gonna work out for my hair because I have so much of it that it just, I need a heavy conditioner. And I just, I don't know why I thought that a natural conditioner couldn't be that, but it totally can. And it smells like vanilla frosting. It smells incredible. Oh, this also went out of stock for a while and then went in stock and I bought four of them because I don't want to be without them. I love it so much. This is like one of my favorite Young Living products outside of oils that I would highly recommend. I love it. I don't even know if I like any of their shampoos as much as I like this. I really, really, really like this. And then I used up a Batiste dry shampoo. I don't love the Batiste dry shampoos. I mean, I do. There's just ones I like more. This is cheap and effective. It gets the job done. I will say that like this one, some if you use it too heavily, like I get... I'm weird about dry shampoos because I say it all the time, I feel like they get in my mouth and I don't like that. <laughs> but they have to tons of different scents. They also have like ones for brunettes so they it comes out a little bit darker so that you don't see the white cast in your hair. I haven't repurchased this. I'm currently using the Trader Joe's dry shampoo and really enjoying it, but I'll probably like repurchase this from time to time for the rest of my life. That is it for hair. Now let's get into home stuff and then we're done. <laughs> so I have a Christmas candle. Oh, but this is my favorite Christmas candle. It's by Yankee Candle. It's Christmas Eve. Sadly, I got pregnant in November and then sickness hit me like early, mid-December. So candles were out of the question. So I must have used this up in November because I <laughs> haven't lit a candle in since November. Um, so I have this. I'm not sure when I burned it because I really didn't, we didn't do much Christmasing this year as I was literally dying in bed. Not literally, but you know, literally. But this is my favorite Christmas candle and it was in the empties bin, so I'm sharing it. <laughs> and then another candle that I loved is the Trader Joe's Vanilla Pumpkin candle. Um, obviously this only came out during the holidays, but I loved it. It really truly smells like a great blend of like vanilla and pumpkin like you're baking something. And I love the Trader Joe's candles. They're soy candles. They come in these tins. They're the perfect size for like a bathroom. Um, so if you, you know, like to light a candle after you use the restroom. Or if you just like are having guests and you like to have a candle burning in there, I love these. I only use these in the bathroom really, but they also do make great gifts and they're so affordable. I used up a couple of hand soaps. This is the Young Living Winter Nights Foaming Hand Soap. I didn't like this. I don't like this scent blend. It's supposed to smell like a Christmas tree, but to me it just doesn't. It smells way too like woodsy. It's just not for me. I don't know. It's not like the worst smell I've ever smelled. I do like their foaming hand soaps. My favorite being the Christmas Spirit one, which is obviously only available at Christmas. I don't like the Luscious Lemon one, but I do like the Thieves hand soap. So the hand soaps are kind of hit and miss with me. I won't repurchase this one. I did not like it. I of course have at least one Mrs. Meyers hand soap. This is the lavender scent, which like, why don't I have more hand soaps? Have I not been washing my hands? I don't leave the house, so maybe not. But still, I should be washing my hands a little more. But also, we now have multiple bathrooms, so I guess I'm using a bunch of different hand soaps instead of just the one. <laughs> but anyway, this is our favorite hand soap. It's the Mrs. Meyers hand soap. This is the lavender scent. I love this scent. The lavender Mrs. M Mrs. Meyers scent is so different and unique, but it smells so, so good. I have quite a backstock of hand soaps right now, but I think I've decided I want to try to make my own hand soap. With Castile soap, you can add olive oil in there, whatever essential oils you want. I saw Rachel Talbot do it, and I was like, that looks so easy. That's fun. So I want to try to make my own hand soap, also to reduce plastic waste. And then lastly, I have a couple of essential oils. In pregnancy, I am just now starting to use oils, um, which I need to do an updated like morning and night routine so I can show you guys what I'm using because I get a ton of questions. Still not a ton of diffusing going. Um, just any like scent lingering in the air, that's when things usually start to bother me. So I haven't been diffusing, um, but if I do diffuse, it's usually grapefruit and pine. So I used up a pine oil. I love the stuff. This from Young Living is I think $15 and it just smells so good. It's one of my most used oils. I love it by itself. I love it mixed in with grapefruit, like I just said, or bergamot to diffuse. It just smells really clean and fresh and like woodsy. I also add 10 drops of pine and the oil blend Citrus Fresh into my Thieves cleaner that I make to clean my house and it just smells so good. So yeah, pine is one of my favorites. There, it's usually in, in every empties video. So you probably know that. And we used up an orange Vitality oil and I'm not even gonna lie to you, 
I don't think I finished this. I think Bradley finished it. I think he was using it. Oh, sometimes when the dishwasher smells, we'll put some of this in there or a fridge deodorizer. I'm not sure what he used this for, but the Vitality oils are just oils labeled uh, in the white to let you know that it's okay for the if for like internal consumption if you choose to. To be honest, I don't like ingest a lot of oils in my mouth. <laughs> That came out weird. You know what I mean though. But we do use these in like, like I said, the dishwasher, the fridge deodorizer, things like that. So yeah. <sighs> we did it, you guys. We did it. My throat hurts. I have 15 minutes before I have to leave. <laughs> so I got to film close-ups and then hit the road. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck around, this is probably, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how long I've been filming. Forever? Thanks for watching the biggest vi empties video I'll ever do. I will, well, I can't make any promises because the next one I should be a postpartum mom and we'll see um but i usually like to do these seasonally so you know spring summer fall winter you get it <laughs> if you want more empties videos you want to binge them i have a whole playlist i will link it up in the corner i will have everything or what i can link down below linked down below in their respective categories of skincare body care hair care you know all that stuff but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions let me know what you guys want to see on my channel coming up i love you guys very much i hope you're having a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye